We have looked at a lot of backup solutions before, but here's a complete recovery solution that not only saves your data, but also your entire system state. It's kind of a comprehensive Windows system restore. This is Leo from File Critic, and today we'll be taking a look at Rollback RX Pro. Rollback RX comes with a 44 megabyte installer, which is packed in this folder, and um, you can pick the 64 bit or 32 bit option depending on your type of system. And it also comes with a remote management console, which will, I guess, allow you to control the software from another PC remotely. As we open the user interface, we are greeted with this old school but functional user interface. So let's take a look at the tabs on the left hand side, which uh, seems to be easy to reach. So first of all, we've got our home button, which shows us the total protected space and uh, the free space that we have. So 12.3 gigabytes is uh, used and 12.3 gigabytes is free. And it uh, shows the protected drives. Right now it's just the C drive because that's the only drive we have on the system. But if you have multiple, you can add them here as well. And we have two shortcuts, one to roll back the system or to create a new snapshot. And as you can see, it's pretty much self-explanatory. It says go back in time, instantly restore PC in seconds. So it's kind of a more um, powerful version of Windows System Restore, or you can think of it as Time Machine on Mac. As you can see, we have instant recovery, which allows you to explore the snapshot, recover files, or rollback system. And uh, here we have all our snapshots. As you can see, there was a default snapshot when the product was installed, which is two hours old. It shows you the created time, the status, and uh, the size of the snapshot. And then you've got uh, your task scheduler, which allows you to take snapshots at regular intervals automatically. And then we've got event logs where you can see what events have taken place. So I'm going to take a manual snapshot right now. You can also defragment your snapshots, which is nice. So let's give it the name default. And um, Let's describe it as clean system. And um, you can lock the snapshot to prevent it from automatic deletion. But I'm not going to do that. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, it takes the snapshot really quickly. You don't have to wait for much. And um, it's unlocked, as you can see. And uh, the size is not available currently, but I'm sure it will be after we use the system and make some changes. And if you want, you can defragment the snapshots as well. That's a pretty quick process, as you can see. So now let's install some other software. I just finished installing Malwarebytes on the system, so now let's go back to the installation snapshot and see how that looks like. So I'm going to roll back system, and we're going to select installation. And you can also take a snapshot of the current system before you roll back in case you want to come back to the state. So we're going to do that. And now we just have to restart the PC and then it'll start taking us back to or restoring the computer back to the time when this product was installed. So I assume everything will be just the way it was at that time. None of the changes we've made from then to now will be reflected. So let's see how it works. As you can see, they have their own uh, you know, boot time screen. And uh, we're loading the snapshot. And now the system's starting up. We shouldn't have malware bytes installed, and we don't. As you can see, um, the system is just the way it was 
when Rollback RX Pro was first installed. Everything is just like before, not just the files, but also, you know, installations and, uh, you know, Windows settings and everything. And uh, as you can see, you can use their file recovery wizard to search and retrieve data, even if, let's say, your system is uh, infected and you restore to a previous state but you made some new files or installed some new software that you don't want to lose, you can specifically look for that in the newer snapshot and uh, you can try to recover something that uh, you might be missing. But we don't have any such thing, so I'm just going to cancel the recovery wizard. And there you have it. That is how Rollback RX Pro works. Now they also have some additional tools and settings like access control. You can select who can, um, you know, access the software, just the administrators or every user. Then you've got some system security. You can prevent unauthorized access to system and data. Then we've got the baseline manager, which allows you to reset the baseline or update the baseline. And um, you have the snapshot defragmenter, which you could also do in that interface, but they also have a dedicated interface for that. And then we can take a look at the settings. We've got our languages, we've got program appearance. And one thing I, I do notice is that this is a very, you know, traditional type UI. I think this could use some improvement. They could make it more appealing, but they've gone with the simple and functional approach, which is also a pretty good idea. Sometimes some software just try to bloat it up with a lot of visuals and in the end it just becomes confusing for the user. So pretty easy to use user interface. And here we have some additional settings. You can uh, show the recovery console logo during boot up, or you can just disable that. And you can show the username on logon screen, allow user to cancel schedule tasks and things like that. It's customizable to some extent. And uh, it also has an option to auto run missed schedule tasks at next logon. So, you know, you never miss a scheduled snapshot. Then you have some more advanced settings which are more interesting. So automatically delete unlocked snapshots when you take, I guess, another snapshot and uh, it's more than seven days old. So they, in order to save space, they're going to delete it. And uh, if you lock the snapshot, that's not gonna happen. Or it, it'll also delete unlocked snapshot when you don't have enough free space on your system so it automatically takes care of these things so that you don't end up having no hard disk space because there are tons of snapshots that are taking up your drive space and it also um, defrags snapshots during next boot up after deleting four snapshots or after taking four new snapshots so it's got several ways to automate these tasks when you roll back to another snapshot, you can always take a snapshot of the current system or you can it can remind you to recover files. If you disable it, it won't have that pop up as we saw during the startup of the system. And uh, this setting is pretty useful. You can keep certain files or folders unchanged. So you can add, uh, let's say, a documents folder and say, hey, I don't want any files inside the documents folder to be rolled back or changed when you restore to a snapshot because they might be containing harmless documents. So that is going to allow you to save uh, some of your data and uh, still be able to use this feature flawlessly. And then you've got some basic network settings. So that's my overview of Rollback RX Professional. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to check out the written review at www.filecritic.com. As always, this is Leo signing out.